Hello, this is going to be a reading from Damon Dash. I'm wondering how we can bottle his intelligence, his essence, his fortitude, his determination, his perseverance. Um, what makes him him? I probably have known him, him for the, as long as he's been around that rapper, but um, I always had a love-hate relationship with him, but as I got older, I realized he wasn't the problem. He was actually one of the more enlightened ones. Strength. Just said he's determined, he's perseveres. Why is he so awesome? Strength out of this book. Strength out of this book. So it says, let me see if I can put this here. For the first time, an ordinary woman appears in a tarot card, meaning in this deck. Yet her title is the very opposite of the cultural stereotype for a woman, strength. Despite changes in the culture via V, the role of women, this woman represents inner strength. As the anima, she will mediate between the male traveler's ego and the more primitive animalistic powers within the psyche. By taming his animal nature, she will rescue the traveler from being wholly under its thrall. For all its danger and threat, the lion is traditionally associated with wisdom. A good prognosis for the traveler about to meet the personal lion of the unconscious. Wild beasts are often symbolic of self-fulfillment because they are true to their instinctive natures. Wow, this is really, this is really hitting it for him. Um, the message of strength is summarized by the triangular object partially hidden between the spines and the arms. Is that here? That. Oh my lord. Come on. Hold on. I'm trying to get you guys to be able to see the picture. Card is so big. That's the best I can do. Sorry. Um, the message of strength is summarized by the triangular object partially hidden behind the spines and arms. Behind the heart is an infinite triangle. The Penrose Triangle. Its inventors, the psychiatrist Lionel Penrose and his mathematician son Roger, described it as impossibility in its purest form. At the beginning of the journey, the traveler feels the golden goal of wholeness is beyond reach. Yet here is feminine strength integrating impossibility, demonstrating that the path is possible and not only possible, but achievable. For the female traveler, this card speaks to using the strength of the ego to deal with the animal inside, while to the male traveler, it encourages him to harness the strength of his anima, his inner feminine side. So maybe that's what it is. He's so in touch with both his masculine and feminine sides. He's so in touch with himself. He's in touch with his soul. He's in touch with his 
righteousness. He's in touch with his knowing. He knows who he is. He doesn't need outside validation. He's very determined. He gets things done and he does it well. So he's like the animus, anima, the female, the, the feminine, the masculine, and also the lion. He's three powerful things in one. All right, let me get a couple of tarot cards. Demon Dash. Why is he so awesome? Sorry, can't see. Demon Dash, I saw it. His mother. His uh, female figure and his family could have possibly played a role in shaping him into the person that he has become. Could be therapy. This person could be a therapist. Could be a family member. Family member that's a therapist. Damon Dash. What do we need to know? Demon Dash, Queen of Cups, so loving, nurturing, Knight of Swords in reverse, Queen of Swords, a sincere friend, the Hermit, in touch with his inner, the Moon, again, we're back to maternal, so women must have played a very big role, a very big key in his life, a Virgo, possibly. Gemini, uh, Libra, why do I have the Knight of Swords in reverse? It's kind of, <laughs> I'm thinking it's because um, I'm one of those people, I don't believe what you tell me, I'm going to go Google it, I'm like why am I going to believe you, I don't, half the time I don't even know you and you're trying to tell me something, so I need to read it for myself, so it's like he doesn't argue because he knows what he knows, and if he doesn't know, he'll go find out. He doesn't waste words. But let's see what the Knight of Swords says here. Which is actually the King of Swords in reverse. Because the Knight in this deck is the King. Um, duplicity, cynicism... Mind games, idle speculation, lack of feeling. Yeah, facts don't care about your feelings. He's totally that. That's him. Um, so the therapist, the game master, and I'm taking this as he doesn't play games. And look at that triangle there again. And there's a triangle here. So it's something to do with um, triangle, triangle. Something to do with Trinity, something to do with 369. He knows the codes of the law. He knows how the laws of the universe works. He paints his own pictures. He stays to himself. He is in touch with the moon and their um, different phases. What else can I say about him? Um, a sincere friend. I already said that. Um loves to debate hmm. 
nurturing, healing, supportive, self-sufficient, total honesty. He knows how to go within. He knows how to go on personal journey, personal quests. He knows when to go better himself. He knows when to stay away from negative energy. Um, he knows when he's being guided by the spirits. He is more worried about his truth than what you think is truthful about him. Okay. I will get five clarifiers. Demon Dash, what? I want three of these. What do we need to know about you that we can learn from you and bottle up? Damon Dash, what do we need to know about you that we can bottle from you and intuition? I knew that was back about fear. He's not very fearful. That might be a success. Because he doesn't let, he feels the fear and does it anyway if he does feel fear, because I don't think he does. But if he fears fearful, fearful, he withdraws, gets in touch with his feminine masculine, his core essence, his authenticity, his soul, his truth, and, pro and proceeds anyway, perse perseveres anyway. So not much can stop this man. Um... I do like how the sun and moon are here, again, symbolizing how in touch he is with both his masculine and his feminine. I'm going to end this with an oracle of the trees. Damon Dash, what can you tell us? The palm tree. The palm tree. Oops. Um, speaks of the Greek Roman myth, Nike, the goddess of victory, is often depicted with a palm frond in her hand, a palm given to victorious athletes. The palm is cited in the Bible in Psalms 92.13, where it says that the righteous man flourishes like the palm. Underscoring how this tree is considered a divine gift of many fruits. It speaks about Palm Sunday. Keywords, well-earned rest, adventure, escape from the daily grind, boredom, need for something new, infatuation. Drawing this card informs us that the seeker is in a state of mental and, phys mental and physical fatigue. The palm tree card indicates that they deeply desire to escape from the daily routine, which clearly is not very satisfying. He doesn't like to be bored, and he doesn't like to feel fear, and he doesn't like to think that he won't succeed. It's not an option. Failure is not an option. The card also casts a ray of hope, announcing that the seeker will soon have what they wish for. This could be a vacation, a new situation, or travel that will find them to find joy and rediscover lost motivation. Um, do not, so advice is, do not let yourself be overcome by fatigue. Keep looking for your oasis in the desert.
feel like I want one more. Dane Dash, what would you give us or what can they give you as advice? Either or. You give us, they give you. Hmm. Grief. So maybe he's going through something right now. Could just be a case of boredom where um, being stagnant pushes him into the creation of new things. Goddess of Grief from the Igbo in Nigeria. Temple the Lovers, M Element the Bush. Ancient Earth Mother Allah is the foremost Igbo deity. Goddess Allah oversees motherhood fertility in the afterlife meaning he gives birth he's like a divine mother who gives birth to a lot of things that I think we're not even aware of or he may not even be aware of that he creates a change in people to make them want to strive for more after death humans return to the womb of Allah replanted in the soul to reincarnate. The guidance says, give spirit your grief, ball it out, wail it out, cry it out, sob, shriek, shed tears, surrender it. Embodiment, you are holding unprocessed grief. You want to skip over it and get back to normal, but grief doesn't go away because you ignore it. The only way to healing is to walk through it. Losing a loved one is the ultimate heartbreak, but you also experience grief after breakups, job loss, and disappointments. Self-love and self-care are required. Ask for support. Be gentle with yourself. The quote is, I am supported by my loved ones, those who are seen, and those who are unseen. So maybe currently he's dealing with something or maybe grief is the reason that he is the phenomenon that he is. And that's it. Thank you.